Hey man, uh, the COOF pandemic's finally over, man. Uh, it's no longer a national emergency. What, what year is this? Oh, 2023? How long has it been since it's been actually an emergency? During Biden's presidency? At any point in time? Just wondering, man. Just wondering. But it took you that long to come to this conclusion? I guess all the checks started to run out and you started to realize that, oh, all of those vaccines that you bought, you just have to continue to pour back down the drain. But it doesn't matter, man. All, all the checks cleared and all the money's coming back into your campaign. I guess you might have found another launderer. Or may, may, maybe the reason. Maybe the reason why you decided to uh, finally end the national emergency. You couldn't find a replacement for FTX to, to, to wash all that cash. I don't know. I don't know. President Joe Biden, ugh, that still sucks to say, on April 10th, signed a measure that immediately ended the COOF national emergency more than three years after it was enacted, the White House announced. 15 days to flatten the curve is now officially three years because, uh, hey man, the money's not going to print itself. Money machine go brrrr. H.J. Uh, Harry... Um, we're not going to finish the J. Uh, resolution 7 passed through the Senate on March 29th by a margin of 68 to 23. Who are those 23 cucks? And can I have a conversation with them? Uh, with 21 Democrats joining 50, or 47 Republicans to support the measure. Yo, shout out to the people that actually realized that. Yeah, it, it's about time we move on. Uh, four Republicans and five Democrats did not cast a vote, and 23 Democrats voted against the short resolution, which was introduced by, oh, Paul Gozar. So apparently they were just, no, it's it's written by that Paul Gozar guy. He's too spicy. You remember he had an attack on Titan meme against AOC. He's a bigot. Oh, he's fucking based. Uh, last month, Ham passed through the House 229 to 197 on February 1st. Oh, suck a it it's taken that long it took over just about two months just about two months to get to the senate <sighs> 11 democrats voted against the house measure well they can go get fucked uh the legislation included a simple one-line description declaring that the pandemic national emergency is hereby terminated that's it a resolution signed on april 10th does not impact the public health emergency which is still scheduled to terminate on may 11th oh fuck Man, that's the entire reason I wanted to cover this shit, okay? It was a feel-good story for a second, but I'm just more concerned about finally being able to travel to the United States for the first time since, I think, 2018 when I had to go down for uh, some work-related uh, training. We have been barred, and the United States is one of the very few last remaining countries that still has a travel ban on foreign people coming in that haven't capitulated to the jab. And me, being one of those people, wouldn't be allowed to enter the country. And that's still the case until May fucking 11th, and it pisses me off so much. But there's a reason there's a reason that they push this feel-good narrative that hey guys uh, we're just on the crest of summer okay uh we're it's just about here it's just about get ready for long week uh, long weekends and vacation weather the summer's gonna be wonderful and there's no more emergency biden took care of everything because guess what the fucking walls are closing in my guy because, uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of hoaxes, a whole bunch of hoaxes, a whole bunch of information a leaking out, and it's, it's really not that good. It's not that good for the boys up there, okay? Avoid using free public charging stations for phones, the FBI warning. Yeah, like, even when I had the uh, ability to travel into the United States several years ago at this point, 15 days flatten the curve, right? Okay, you always seen those free charging stations at like malls and uh, airports for sure. And it was always kind of known. It's like those things are going to put spyware on your phone, okay? But now the FBI comes out with that. Yeah, I trust them even less, okay? So the FBI is warning people not to use public phone charging stations as hackers have been taking... Oh, the, the vicious hackers. I've heard about one. The hacker 4chan. Fuck off. Taking advantage of the situation to infect connected devices with malware. Avoid using free charging stations in airports, hotels, or shopping centers. FBI Denver said in an April 6th Twitter post, bad actors have figured out ways to use public USB ports to introduce malware and monitoring software into devices. Carry your own charger and USB cord and use an electrical outlet instead. Yeah, no, exactly. Well, 
Yeah, wh why are they doing this? Okay, so you've got the national emergency. Oh, it's finally been lifted, man. Oh, the FBI's actually looking out for you. Well, mostly because um, there's been a big intel breach, which I'm sure you probably didn't hear about because it's awfully embarrassing. Washington braces for diplomatic fallout amid fears of further intel leaks. Well whatever got leaked out there C can we get specific u.s federal agencies are scrambling to contain the diplomatic fallout after scores of classified documents pertaining to ukraine uh oh ukraine and the bidens what what's going on and other u.s allies were leaking online and as yet unknown actors u.s officials across the interagency are engaging with allies and partners at high levels over this state department spokesman vendat patel said at with a guy like that, wouldn't you think that information would be a little bit more secured? Like, he's the guy who's always answering my tech calls. Anyways, uh, said at an April 10th press briefing. According to Patel, Washington seeks to reassure allies of our uh, commitment to safeguarding intelligence and the fidelity of in, uh, securing our partnerships. The documents, most of which date to February or March of this year, initially are you kidding me? Appeared last month on online forums such as Discord and 4chan. I didn't, I swear to God, that was just a meme at the beginning. I had no idea that they'd actually be citing the hacker 4chan. It's a fucking joke, by the way. I know it's a message board. Jesus. Uh, but only made headlines on April 6th when the New York Times, New York Times, uh, citing senior Biden administration officials, reported their appearance on Twitter and Telegram. Both the Pentagon and the Justice Department are now trying to find the source of the leaks, some of which point to the U.S. spying activity amid fears that they could damage relationship with allies. Yeah, exactly. If you have fucking uh, Discord servers and you have 4chan blown up with your uh, national intelligence information... Bruh, that's a bit tough. Okay, uh, comprised of dozens of pages of text and images, most leaked documents relate to the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine. Yeah, imagine that. It's probably like a running money counter. Okay, just see it go up and up in real time. Others, uh, however, purportedly contained classified information which U.S. officials have uh, say may have been doctored. <gasps> of course they'd say that because all of their shit got leaked out there. Oh, th the only stuff that's real doesn't pertain to United States interests, but the rest of that stuff totally fabricated okay one document for example appears to give details of closed door discussions between top south korean officials regarding alleged u.s per, uh, pressure on seoul to contribute more to ukraine's war effort why would that be doctored why would that be doctored the documents contents and facts seemingly obtained via signals intelligence intercepted communications yes uh Sigint? Yeah, that's what it's called. Uh, suggests that the U.S. agencies uh, may have spied on the government of South Korea, a long-standing ally of the United States. Yes, dating all the way back to the 50s. Shout out the Korea War. Uh, on April 11th, the U.S. Secretary of... Oh, oh, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, and that's the person who I always go to when it comes to uh, just truthful and honest reporting, uh, the issue, discussed the issue in a telephone call with South Korean counterpart Lee jong Sup. How's it going? Sup? Uh, on the same day, South Korean President Yoon suk Yol, nice to meet your acquaintance, um, said that the allegations uh, said in his office that the target to U.S. spying were utterly false. No, oh, we're good and everything. We're just, you know, gonna have another bug and uh, a couple more people are gonna tap into those lines the next time that, you know, hey man, you guys uh, wanna, wanna engage in some friendly banter. Don't worry about that. You just hear extra buzzing. You guys are old in the United States. We get it. We get it. Our technology, a little bit better. Any attempt to damage relations between the United States and South Korea was contrary to the latter's national interest. The Yoon's office said in a statement, Yoon is slated to visit Washington later this month for talks with U.S. President Joe Biden. Why the fuck did you leak any of our shit, you stupid old fuck? God damn it! South Korean opposition figures. I'd imagine that's probably how that's going to go, and I'm sure that'll be a part of some of the new leaks that'll come out. South Korean opposition figures, however, have decried alleged U.S. surveillance on government officials as a breach of the country's national sovereignty. Huh, I seem to remember the last time that there was a, a quote-unquote big, uh, big intelligence leak. Uh, there was a president that was put through a, an impeachment trial. Yeah, between, uh, what was that? Oh, God, it's funny. Uh, the country of origin that escapes me. Oh, right. Uh, Ukraine, right? Oh, cool. And we have another information leak from Ukraine that they're not disputing the authenticity of. 
interesting interesting but i wonder is anybody going to get impeached over that no of course not the democrats in the office when asked directly about south korea the state department's patel stressed the u.s commitment to south korea was ironclad uh, there are one of the most important partners in the region u.s added uh, japan used to be the strongest but you know hey biden kind of fumbled that bag but it's just another day that ends in why right uh, the united states he added was engaged at high levels with our allies and partners to reassure them that it relates to our commitment to safeguard intelligence and sensitive documents as well as ensuring our commitment to the security and partnerships we have made with these countries Meanwhile, U.S. relations with Israel, oy vey, shut it down, long seen as a key Middle Eastern ally, may also have come under strain due to the leaks. Oh shit, you got Mossad in your, in your crosshairs? Oh fucking Christ, big shutdown, big shutdown. One leaked document appears to suggest the ongoing protest against Israeli Prime Minister uh, Benjamin Netanyahu. Yeah, he's back in office. It's fucking weird. Stupid parliamentary systems uh, were encouraged by Isra er, Israel's Mossad intelligence agency, a claim roundly denied by Yet Netanyahu's office. Yeah, it's probably anti-Semitic to question Mossad huh, in any of their activities but that's about as far as i'm gonna go on youtube because oh boy they got power <laughs> dem boys uh when asked whether the leaks might adversely affect u.s israel relations patel emphasized the deep partnership between the two countries well not so much under this administration but tomato tomato well biden's spitting up on his suit uh, the leaks also appear to have ensnared Egypt. Yo, this shit is global. This miss or worldwide on this one. That's who should be delivering this press conference. Okay, where's Pitbull at? Oh, he's a Trump supporter. Another a longstanding ally of the United States. Is it? I didn't actually know that, but okay. Uh, the April 10th, the Washington Post reported that, according to one leaked document, Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. Okay. Had ordered the production of 40,000 rockets to be co or covertly delivered to Russia. Sounds like a U.S. ally. Uh, the document dated uh, February 17th further asserts that Al-Sisi ordered military officials to keep the plan secret to avoid problems with the West. After the Washington Post ran a report, Egyptian state-run Al-Ahram uh, news agency quoted the government source as saying the claims had no basis in truth. State-run government saying, don't worry about our secrets being leaked. You guys, it's, it's all fine. U.S. number one. Um, uh, Egypt follows a balanced policy with international parties. Yeah, we said, hey, U.S you guys go ahead and uh, make some rockets because we can sell them over to the russians you guys can keep this forever war going but you guys your guys's hands will be clean uh, don't worry i i hear biden's all about this pr uh, quid pro quo stuff we're just we are just simply trying to wet our beaks now moscow also denied the allegations which kremlin spokes per, uh, spokesman because uh, it's russia so they're based so they don't have spokespeople spokeswoman it's a spokesman dmitry peskov described it as a latent uh, the latest canard this is something we've been dealing with a lot lately a lot of western disinformation Ach, toy, i spit on the west Meanwhile, U.S. officials are bracing for the possibility of more secret documents may yet appear online. We don't know who's behind this. We don't know what they have, but we have the best intelligence anywhere. <sighs> but yeah, no, hey guys, don't worry. Um, Just false proclamations about how great the administrations are. No real uh, details on uh, Biden's endless travel schedule and... Oh, uh, just, uh, if you're going to be traveling, though, don't use those free power stations. But the government, the government's got best uh, best practices in mind for you. Sure thing. But with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.